Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about one of the most popular reasons that a number of you have purchased a DS1019 Plus for home, namely Plex. Plex Media Server is an incredibly popular application that's available on the App Center from Synology. Dare I say it though, it's available everywhere. It's available for consoles, it's available for smart TVs, it's available for phones, it's available for everywhere that you need it. Now a Plex Media Server has got all the, you know, the, the, the polish and the great user interface of some big cloud streaming services like Netflix and more. But with Plex, you can use your own media, not have to stream from servers that you have to pay monthly for, as well as learning one month to the next that you've lost it all. And if you do purchase media on online streaming services, chances are if they stop hosting it and you delete it, it's gone forever. So a NAS gives you the ability to have all of your media readily and available as well as have that great user interface and all the polish that Plex can provide. But how do you set up a Plex media server on a 1019 Plus? Well, that's what I'm here to tell you. So let's move over to the NAS and I'll show you how to set up a Plex media server on this NAS. I've done several videos like this, but this is the first time I'm doing one in 2019 because I know there's been a few updates recently with both Plex and Synology NAS. So first things first, what you need to do is go to the package center and from the package center, make your way onto the available apps. If you haven't installed it already, just type in the word Plex and it will search the list of available applications and it will find Plex amongst them. I've already installed Plex. The first thing that will happen, of course, when you open up is it will check the availability of the existing apps in the store. Once it finds it, all you'll have to do is click add. And once you add that, it adds it to your available applications. It's straightforward, it's free, and it's done in less than two minutes. When that's done, it'll appear here. And once you open the Plex Media Server application the first time, it will open up a brand new tab. Do take note that it is a network address, not an online address. Now during this period of the video, what I'm gonna show you is how exactly you pair a Plex application, uh, a Plex account with your Synology NAS. Now you can either set up a brand new Plex account or use an existing Plex account that you've already got and add this NAS to your list of NASs. So I've already got um, an account ready, I've already used for a previous video, and I will enter uh, my password here. Here's hoping I get it right first time. Once you log in, what will happen is, this will then assign this NAS to your Plex server account. So do remember that you can have multiple NASs with, with their own libraries and databases on your Plex media account. You don't have to have just one. Also, you can add friends and family members to these accounts as well. So once you click got it, it will then offer you if you want to sign up for a Plex Pass. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail here, but what I will say is there are loads of features of functionality open to you with a Plex Pass. You can see them on the screen there, and I do recommend it. It's only like a five or a month or something. And it, there's lots of deals out there that you can get. But for now, we're just gonna skip forward. Do go to the link in the comments to learn more. Look at that, it's even cheaper, cheaper now. So moving forward, if we skip that, it will say that it's found the NAS on your local area network. You can rename it or just keep the name of the NAS, I would, and then click next. And then the next option, it will ask you about assigning your media library. And what this is, is the files that are on your NAS, TV, music, you know, anything like that, and then let you assign them to this Plex account. And that is how you stream media over the network and the internet to your devices. Now, the reassigning of this NAS and the linking of Plex and the NAS can take anywhere between one and five minutes. So if it's gonna take any longer, I'm probably gonna skip forward to later in the video. Okay, so it's linked these up. Now we want to start adding libraries. To add, add libraries to, um, to your Plex Media Server, what you need to do is open up the Libraries tab and from here, start assigning different tabs and linking them to the folders on your Synology NAS. From here, what you need to do is first select the type of media that you want to add to your Plex library, the obvious one being films. So once you've got that selected, you can rename it from something from films to movies or cinema or whatever. And then from there, click next, and then it will ask you to browse the folders on your NAS and find the folder that you want to use. So in the case of the Synology, I want to use the videos. So in here, we can go into the videos tab. So let's go into that and now we can add those video folders. From there, it will then add that library, and then from there, I could maybe add another one. So this time I want to add music. 
So I click music, I can change that to music and audio, because perhaps I like a good audio book. Click next, browser media folder. Once again, go into the volume that you created when setting up your NAS for the first time, and done. There's the music folder added too. And you can add as many as you want, if we browse for another one perhaps, and this time, because you can add multiple folders for music if you've got them in different directories. And then from there, you can carry on and you can either create uh, with the Plex Premium account some more glossy effects and some of the other advantages that you can get from the metadata, or you can sit with the basic music library options. Again, if you've got existing iTunes servers or information on other platforms, you can import them as well. There we go, we've added those two sources. So from here, we can talk about Plex apps. Now, Plex has a whole host of different applications that can add to the user experience. Some of them support third-party applications, but for now, uh, we really want to talk about just Plex in itself, and we will do a full overview of the Plex Pass and the advantages of that in a future video. So if we click Done, there we go. We've now got our Plex Media Server set up on our Synology NAS. And again, I've got multiple NASs linked to this account, but for now, all we want to look at is this new Synology NAS. So again, we've set up the Films tab and we've set up the Music and the Audio tab. And at the moment, what it's doing is sequencing these in the background. And what I'll do is I'll fast forward to these being done. Skipping forward a little bit, now you can start seeing how Plex is indexing these files and getting the metadata from its online sources. And straight away, there's those same movies that we've been using for the other series of videos we've been covering on this. So if we look at, say, Shaun of the Dead, from here, we've got the cast lists here at the bottom. Remember, this is our copy of Shaun of the Dead. We've not, we're not streaming from an online service. You can tell from the IP at the top. What we're using right now is a local area network connection to a NAS. And there's loads of information open to you here. And again, if we want to play the media file, we can just click play and it will now play here on our computer. And again, we are recording from screen, so there's probably gonna be a little bit of a problem trying to do this here. So if we stop this for now, and we'll come back out of it. Minimize it there. And at the same time, it's now indexing the music that we had stored on this NAS. And once again, we can go into that and see lots of information about the music on it. But that has been Plex and Synology NAS and how to set it up. So remarkably straightforward. I'll be doing more videos using WD and a few other NAS brands such as TerraMaster and Netgear in the coming weeks. And that's all for 2019. If you've got any requests about Plex, stuff you want to see, and of course, we're going to be overviewing the full Plex Pass membership to let you know what the advantages of that are. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.